Welcome into the video. I am your tech guy, Wayne, and today I want to show you how to install a memory card on the Samsung Galaxy A35. And I'm going to show you some really helpful tips on how to check your storage, how to change your camera settings so that all the pictures will save to your memory card and how to back up all your data to your memory card as well. So make sure you watch till the end so you don't miss any important information. So first, I'll be using this Samsung 128 gigabyte memory card. I'll have a link below in the description a few memory card options. Um, one note, don't use cheap memory cards. Use name branded memory cards because if you buy a cheap memory card, it can just die one day and you can lose all your information. So you don't want that to happen. So stick with big names like Samsung, SanDisk, PNY, reputable companies, reputable brands. If you've never heard of the brand, be a little suspect. Again, I'll link some in the description and I'll link some on screen that I recommend and just get quality memory cards. That's all I'll say. So let's take a look at first how to take out the memory card tray. At the top of the phone, you'll find the memory card tray right here. Now I'll be using a SIM card tool to remove the SIM tray. If you don't have this tool that comes in the box of your phone, um, you can also take a paper clip and bend it back and use the end of that too. You're just going to uh, insert it it's a little hole, give it a strong push, and that little tray will come out and you just slide it out. There we go. And uh, one thing you'll need to notice is that uh, one side says SIM, and the other side is where the memory card goes, and it'll say micro SD. So just pay attention to that. When you take it out though, your SIM card will pop out. So I'm gonna take my SIM card here and just put it in the tray. And it should just snap into place. So see that? It snapped into place. And this means if I flip the tray over, then the SIM card is not gonna, the memory card isn't gonna fall out because it's snapped into place. All right. We take our phone and we're just gonna slide it right back in the slot. Know that it only fits one way and it should just slide back in and let you just push it until it's plush and it's back in. Now, if you take a look at the top of the screen, you should see a memory card icon and that's telling us that a memory card was inserted, which is exactly what we wanna see, which is great. Now, I'm going to swipe down from the top of the screen, tap on my settings wheel and we're gonna go to device care. This is where you can check the storage of the memory card. So go to storage. And you'll see two slots. So you'll see the internal storage. And then if you swipe left, you'll see SD card. And so I actually just used this memory card to back up some data from an older phone. So that's why half of the storage is being used. But for those of you that are inserting a brand new memory card, you should see almost all the storage freed up here. And this is just showing right now, um, 70 gigs of my 120 gigs are used, but that's fine. I still have an additional uh, 50 gigs ready to be used for this phone, which is great. So that's how you check to see how much storage you have left on the memory card. Next, let's go to the camera. Let's just swipe up. Go to camera. We're gonna tap on the settings wheel in the upper left corner. And you'll wanna scroll until you get to storage location and change this from internal storage to SD card. And now every picture you take is going to save to the memory card. And lastly, you want to go back to your settings. So I'll swipe down from the top of the screen, tap on the settings wheel. From here, we're gonna swipe up. We're gonna to go to accounts and backup. And we're gonna go to transfer data for device setup. And basically this is gonna take you to an app that comes pre-installed on just about every Samsung phone you purchase. It's an app called Samsung Smart Switch. And this will allow you to back up your data to your memory card. If you go to the upper right corner, tap on this little memory card icon here you can tap on backup to SD. And this will allow you to backup um, some or everything that's on your phone. 
You can do everything. You can do just calls, contacts, and messages, or you can go to custom, hit next, and then it will give you a list of all the categories of things you can back up. So I would encourage you to back up all your data at least once a month. That way, if your phone is ever lost, you'll have a record of at least, you know, all your text messages minus one month or your photos um, or your call log. Anything that's really important to you, you should be backing it up regularly. And now that you have memory card installed, you can back up your data. Now, guess what? If your phone is stolen, your memory card is in your phone and therefore this doesn't really help you. So what you may want to do is purchase two memory cards and once a month, just simply put in your your one of the memory cards and just use it to back up data and then take it out of the phone and just store it somewhere in your house safely and then put the other memory card back in. Um, that's it sounds like more work, but if that's going to, you know, save your really important text messages or important files, then that's what you have to do. So anyway, this was just a quick rundown to help you install the memory card, how to check the storage, how to set your camera up properly so your picture is saved to it, and also how to back up your data using that memory card. So if you found any value in this video, make sure you bump that like button down below. Again, I'll have links in the description and you should have seen a few links show up on screen of some memory card options. Uh, again, buy a quality memory card so you don't have any issues with the card. Um, and uh, this was just one of many videos we have produced on the Samsung Galaxy A35. So um, at the end of the video, you'll find some links to some other helpful videos. So check out those too, and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care, and as always, have a good one.